Matt Sampson here with meteorologist Nick Wilchin. Nick, Colorado State University just released their hurricane season forecast for 2014. How does that differ from the Weather Channel's forecast that we released last month? Well, their numbers are slightly lower than ours in terms of the number of hurricanes, major hurricanes, and also tropical storms in the Atlantic Basin for this season. But both their numbers and our numbers are below the long-term average for the Atlantic. So uh, the same general idea, a quiet season, at least in terms of the number of storms. Okay, so what are the exact numbers they're talking about in Colorado? Well, uh, CSU is uh, predicting nine total named storms, and within that number, there would be three hurricanes and just one major hurricane, category three or higher, if their forecast comes true. Uh, so those numbers are one or two uh, storms less than our respective numbers for each category. What are the factors that go into forecasting an entire seven-month hurricane season? Well, uh, the two main factors that we're looking at this season are the potential for uh, uh, cooler than average water in the tropical Atlantic. So it's that area between the uh, islands of the Caribbean and Africa, and that's a key area of development, especially uh, in the middle and later stages of the season. So that could suppress development. And then there's also the expectation that we'll have an El Nino, at least a weak one, developing in the summer to fall months during the hurricane season. And El Ninos historically tend to create more wind shear over the Atlantic basin, which tends to rip storms apart more easily than in non-El Nino years. Florida hasn't had a landfalling hurricane in the last eight years, so is this news good for them, or how do we know? Well, uh, unfortunately, we can't say that this report is good news for any particular geographical location. Uh, it's true that Florida hasn't had a landfalling hurricane in eight years, but they have had landfalling hurricanes in El Nino periods before. Most recently, in 2004, they had four hurricanes in one year, and that was in the early stages of a weak El Nino. And there are other examples in the past where large hurricanes have struck the U.S. during what were numerically quiet seasons. So it only takes one major hurricane, even if there are only nine named storms the whole season. If one of those is a big one and it hits the U.S., it can cause a lot of problems. Everyone has to be prepared every season. That's the big lesson. It only takes one. Yep. All right. Thanks, Nick.